Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters. Uh, welcome back in action. Uh, if you can remember, in our previous video, we have discussed about uh, arithmetic uh, progression or arithmetic series, where we have said that these are kind of sequence that will have a common difference. Uh, today's class will be based on geometric progressions, or you can also say geometric sequence. Uh, these are kind of sequence that will have a, a common uh, ratio. The moment you hear GB, don't forget, you are dealing with a sequence that will have a common ratio. Okay? Then uh, understanding the nature of the question is also very, very important. Okay? Differentiate between arithmetic progression or arithmetic sequence and uh, geometric progression or geometric sequence. These are type of sequence that will have common ratio. Okay? It will have common ratio. It will not have a uh, it will not have common different where information. Then, uh, for us to get the n term of geometric progression or geometric sequence, I uh, will be using a different formula. Okay, yes, understand. So, let's now see some examples about this so that you don't suffer during a uh, national exam where information. But before we tell all the examples for your information, the n term, bear in mind that in B, the n term of GB. Is gotten as a r bar n less one, where a is the first term of the sequence where information, r is the common ratio, and n is the position of the lapa you're looking for. Okay, if you have information, so we'll be using this one, but really uh, to solve uh, standard equations uh, that will give us the correct information for information. Uh, without wasting time, guys, let's see the first example here. We have our example one. This is our example one. You are told, uh, let me write the first example of the book. You are told uh, the geometric sequence, the geometric sequence, uh, which is 4, 12, that 6. Then we have dash 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 comma. We are told find the fourth, the fifth, and the nth term. Find the fourth, the fourth, comma, the fifth, and the the nth term. Okay, the n uh, term. We are told find the uh, the what the the fourth, the fifth, and the nth term of the of this uh, sequence given. Uh, what we're gonna do here is, uh, uh, this is a geometric sequence, why? Because uh, we, when we say second divided by the, by the first or the third divided by the, uh, by the second, it will give you the same value. And such kind of sequence is what we normally call the geometric sequence or information. We are not carrying out the operation which is subtraction here, but we are carrying out division because uh, the moment, if you now say to half minus four, that's eight, you see now, then that six minus 12, that's 24. So we will not have common difference where information. Then if you try on that and you miss uh, to get the common difference, what you do, go ahead and try with the, with the law of geometric uh, sequence or uh, GB, geometric progression, by saying the second divided by the first or the third divided by the second or the fourth divided by the third, uh, will give me a common ratio, okay? That's how you're gonna test for your information, guys. Okay? Now here, our sequence here is what? Let's check out, come to the solution. We have a uh, four to all of that six. Now let me get the common ratio for your information. Our common ratio is a uh, common ratio will be 12 divided by four or that is six divided by 12, which will give you three in both cases, okay? Just understand that, to give you three in both cases. Now, uh, having the common ratio, and we know that our A is what? A is the first term of the sequence. In this situation, A is uh, 4, okay? A is what? A is 4 for your information. Then, are uh, you see the formula? Uh, okay, we want to get the, the fifth term. They say what? Sorry, the fourth term. Come here. Say the fourth term. The fourth term uh, is gotten as AR N less 1. A times R power N less, R, uh, R uh, power N less 1, okay? So our first term is what? Is 4. So we're going to say 4 times R. 
R is the common ratio. Don't forget we use three in this situation. Okay. Time power. Sorry, power. Because they are saying n is what? Let me write that. N is four. Why? Because they are saying find the fourth term. I'm sure if you have watched our previous uh, video concerning about uh, arithmetic uh, uh, sequence, okay? Uh, I'm sure you digest this one, of course. But if you have not uh, gone to that uh, uh, to that video, uh, of course, and I'm not taking time, okay, to understand then this in this concept of mathematics, then you may have problem. But don't forget that your n is always the lab I stated in the question, okay? So we are going to say four less one because our n is four. So in this situation, I'm going to say 4 times 3 power 3. This will give me 4 times 27 because 3 power 3 is 3 multiplied by itself 3 times. So it will be 4 times uh, 27, which will give you finally 108. So that will be, uh, that will be uh, by the way, uh, the fourth term of this sequence. But otherwise, uh, you can confirm by saying, uh, they said what? Two, 4 times 3 is what? 4 times 3 is what? Is 12. 12 times 3 is that 6. That 6 times 3 will give you 108. But in KCAC or normal exam, you cannot solve such kind of question uh, in such a manner. Okay? What you can do is uh, use the principle which says uh, if you have a, r, and n, you can get the n term by using the formula which is a r power n less 1. Okay? Just understand that. Then uh, let's go ahead and see the fifth term again. Okay? The fifth term. Okay? Fifth let's see this one now uh, we know that the uh, the nth term of gb is gotten as a r n less one a r power n less one so in this situation you're going to say uh, our a is still what is still four times r which is three so now this time we will say, we will now change only the value of n which is five minus one okay this will give me how much five minus one is four okay so i will have four times 3 power 4. 3 power 4 is 8 to what? For your information. It's not 3 times so It is 3 multiplied by itself 4 times. So it will give you 8 to 1. So this will give us 4 times 8 to 1, which is uh, 324. Then we are also told to get the n term. The n term is gotten as, uh, we, will, we will now substitute this two value there. Okay? We don't have n, but we will, we will use a and r. The n term, we are going to say, the n term is equal to our a is what? Our a is 4. Our a is 4 times 3 by our n less 1. Because we, need, we don't know the value of n. That's what you're saying. a r by our n less 1. But remember, we have a as 4, as, then our r as 3. That is the common ratio for your information. Okay? And this is how you're going to solve, guys, such kind of question in KCSU or any other uh, exam. Okay? Uh, let's go and see example two without wasting time. We have uh, our example two here, guys. Let's see this one. Okay. Let's see our example two, guys, without wasting time. Let's see our example two. I'm sure you're with me. Make sure you have your latest book and uh, uh, your pen together with the calculator. Then make sure you also confirm the calculation because you see there, uh, there are two errors, human error and in experimental error, we may uh, involve errors here as we carry out the calculation. However, we are doing the right calculation here for your information. Now, let's see our example uh, two. Let's see our example two for your information, guys. Uh, this is our example two. You are told the fourth, the fourth uh, term of a geometric sequence, term of a geometric sequence. The first term of a geometric sequence uh, is uh, eight. Is eight? No, it's sixteen. Sorry, is sixteen. Full stop. You are told if the first term is uh, uh, if the first term is two. If the first term is two. If the first term is two. Comma is two comma. You're told uh, find uh, the finder. Uh, then come here. Remember this is two here for your information. This is two comma find. You're told uh, a the comma ratio. The comma uh, ratio. The comma ratio. B 
we have uh, uh, the seventh da, okay? The seventh ta. Okay? Look at this question. How are you going to solve such kind of question? Because uh, we know that uh, when we come to the solution, the nth term of GB, the nth term of any GB is gotten as what? As, as uh, AR L less 1 and AR power N less 1. Okay? So in this situation, you are told uh, the fourth term of a geometric sequence is 16. Okay? If the first term is 2, so we have the first term, uh, we have the first term, A is 2, R is under question mark. But the nth term is what? It's 16. The nth term is 16. Oh, the fourth term. Let me write that. The fourth term is what? 16. So I say now uh, 2 times r. I don't have r. Yeah, I don't have r because I'm looking for that. r. But I know n. n is 4 minus a 1 is equal to 16. Equal to, equal to the fourth term. Okay? So it will be 2 times r power 3 is equal to 16. Okay, when you come to this point, eliminate these two, two revision, yeah? Just and start, cancel this thing. So you'll have r power 3 is equal to 8. Uh, if you have learned the concept of indices, then you will not have one here. Yeah. Uh, we know that we say that r power 3 is equal to uh, 8, is it? r power 3 is equal to what? 8. So you can say uh, r, r power 3, look here. r uh, power 3 is equal to 2 power 3. Uh, we have learned the concept of indices. I'm sure you're not encountered one. Okay, we are writing eight as base of what? Base of two. So in this situation, cancel these two. R is equal to one. R is two. So we have answered the first question. That is the common ratio. Then you are told the seventh term. The third uh, term. You're going to say a r n less one. Knowing that this time we have a and r, we can still say uh, our a is what? Our a is two. Don't forget times r which is also 2 power 7 less 1 so this will give us 2 times 2 power 6 which will give us 2 times uh, 64 because 2 power 6 is what is 64 then finally we'll have 128 as the final answer for your information guys okay that would be the final answer sometimes there are some questions that will be uh compared okay a question will have comparison okay in mathematics, then that's what we will go, what we are going to see as we proceed ahead, okay, for your information, guys. Uh, let's see now such kind of questions that will test your brain, okay? Let's see our example three without wasting time, my brothers and sisters. Let's see our example what? Our example three, guys, for your information. Our example three. Now let's see without wasting time. Our oh, oh, example three. I hope you are with me, okay? Uh, Let's see this one. We are taller. Uh, the fourth example three. This is what example uh, three for your information. We are told uh, the fourth uh, term of a geometric. No, sorry. They are the fourth term of a geometric sequence is eight. The fourth term of a geometric sequence of a geometric sequence is. Is what is eight and the sixth term is and sixth term is 32. First of all, find the two possible common ratios. You are told find the two possible common ratios. First of all, you are told. Find the two possible common uh, uh, ratios. Okay. Now, uh, just understand this one. Uh, you are told the fourth term of a geometric sequence is eight. So we don't have a and what a and r. So, but we still know that. Just understand this word, yeah? We still know that the nth term of any GB is got an r. This is n, yeah. The nth term, a r n a r power n less one. Okay. So in this situation, I say uh, the fourth term will be. They say the fourth term, yeah? We have n. A, r, 4 less 1, which will give me uh, a, r, bar, 3. Okay? This is the fourth term. Then, then you also get uh, the what? The sixth term. 
the sixth term. The sixth term, yeah, just understand that. The sixth term will be our n is what? Our n is uh, six. So you're going to say a r six less one. So this will give me a r power five. But you are told the common ratio. Look at that. You are told uh, find the you are told the fourth term of a geometric sequence is eight and the sixth term is that two. Find the two possible common ratio. So uh, when you when you encounter such kind of equations in case AC, okay, such kind of equation in case AC, this is how you're going to tell. You're going to say a r bar five divided by a r bar three is equal to thirty two thirty two divided by eight. Okay, so cancel these two. Remember this division. If you have got indices, so it will be a r bar five divided by r bar three. So carry the two one of the two bases r. Then subtract the two powers. It will give you three minus five is two. So r bar two is equal to uh, this is uh, four. Then write this one as this as power of two. So r bar two is equal to two bar two. So cancel these two. Our r is equal to plus or minus uh, two. Plus or minus two. Why? Because it can be positive or negative verification. Okay. So this is uh, the two possible uh, common ratios for information for such kind of question. Okay. Uh, guys, uh, remember. In our next class of reading, we are going to talk about uh, the application part of this one or how questions are twisted and framed during a national exam, okay? By uh, grabbing questions from the likes of Made Familiar, uh, Spotlight, and other commercial books. Until next time, I wish you the best day ever. Make sure you subscribe and uh, share this information with your class and sisters as well as uh, your colleagues who are currently in high school. Until next time, I wish you the best.